I said it was out in September. It's actually been a bestseller on the three categories of Amazon uh, uh, for biographical reference, biographical history, uh, and um, women, and I think history of Cuba. I don't know why the history of Cuba, but um, it's in that category too. Um, and also linked to the book, um, uh, we've actually got a schools competition. Uh, so a head teacher, retired head teacher, Yvonne Davis, who actually, she lives in Hertfordshire, but originally from, which is from Wolverhampton, uh, you know, all the best things happen in Wolverhampton, don't they? Um, uh, has launched a campaign on GoFundMe. She's raised over £15,000 to have the book in every single school in, Brit in, the, in, in the UK. So far, over 800 schools have received copies of the book through the public donations of the great British public as well. Um, and then we've got schools, we've got, finally we've got a schools competition, which we launched um, at the same time when we launched the nomination process and we've got over a thousand entries and we'll be announcing the results of that in the next several months as well uh, ideally we'd like to have an award ceremony so we'll have to see how it goes with the whole stuff around COVID as well i'm i'm very interested patrick in um the campaign to get the book into every school in in britain yeah. and it seems to me that's something that trade unions could engage with quite well and branches local branches and national branches might want to uh, join in in that campaign and we you know we can play a role in trying to um, facilitate and make that happen that'd be fantastic uh, i mean and uh and basically how the campaign is uh, so yvonne uh davis who's a head teacher has launched this gofundme campaign which we are supporting uh and then schools can go on to the website onto the 100 Great Black Britain website, they can register uh, to receive a book. And then when we have enough money, um, then um, we send the books to the schools. So that's what we've done so far. As I said we've just given it to about just under 800 schools across the country, uh, basically. But on top of that, um, there have been um, uh, and there have been a number of local authorities who have decided to buy books directly themselves. So, for example, Lambeth Council, they uh, have bought 130 copies of the book and the, and the books on every single library in the London Borough of Lambeth and it's in every single primary school and secondary school in Lambeth. That's what the council did. They made that decision to buy the books and they were, you know, as well. So it'd be really fantastic if Wolverhampton Council could do the same thing. 